Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and I've been tagged by Bumblebee to answer 10 questions about orchids. So here goes. Okay, so the first question was how long have you been growing orchids? And what's your favourite one? I think that's a sneaky two questions in, in one actually. Well, I've been growing orchids for about six years. And the first one I ever got was this one here. A Phalaenopsis, like so many of us have. And it's a kind of Bolden's Kaleidoscope. Now, I've had this one for more than seven years. So it predates my fixation with orchids. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think a lot of us started off growing just a few before we got finally hooked. The second question is, what's your main reason for growing orchids? And oh my goodness, what kind of hard question is that? Because they're beautiful, because they're wonderful. I, I don't know. But I suppose really, you know, because I grow a lot of outdoor plants, it's great to have something to look forward to in winter. And a lot of my orchids, they flower around about, you know, Christmas time and that. And I really, really look forward to them. Do you grow other plants besides orchids? Uh, just a bit. What are your three favourite genera of orchids? And um, I'm going to say all of the Cattleya Alliance. Isn't that cheating? Because I love them all. I love them um, Cattleyas, I love Lelia, I love Epidendron, Epidendrons, I love Encyclia. I just, I love them all. I, so that's a big number one. And then number two is probably Oncidium. I like Oncidiums a lot. So what are my five favourite individual orchids? And it's going to come as no surprise to anyone who watches my channel that number one has got to be CG Rubbling Sentinel. It's a beautiful, beautiful Cattleya and um, I'm going to put the link to some of my, one of my videos about it up above. So that's definitely number one. Um, number two, possibly uh, Disa Firebird, which is a super orange, big flowered Disa that didn't flower for me this year, um, unfortunately, so I can't show you. And number three is an Oncidium. Oh, let me just get it for you. Yeah, this is my number three, definitely. It's Oncidium sotawanum, and again, I'm probably going to put a link to the recent video I made about it up above. It's a super one, and the scent. Candy floss. It's just gorgeous. And then number four, possibly Lelo Cattleya, King of Taiwan. A lovely, lovely one which is just coming into flower at the moment. So Chase, stay tuned and I'll be able to show you that one. I've got four flower spikes on it this year. Gorgeous reddish pseudobulb bulbs and back of the leaves. Really nice one. And then number five, I suppose, has to be Cattleya Bobbets because you have to go with the classics sometime. Next up is my least favourite orchid and my least favourite orchid is this one here. It's a Dendrobium lodigesi. And again, to anyone who's watched my channel before, it's going to be no surprise because I just, I've had this one for four and a half years and have had no luck with it. Just can't get the little blighter to flower. Now, this year what I've done is, and I'll put a link to the video above, I potted it in pure sphagnum so that it gets a lot of moisture during the, during the summer when it's in active growth. And in fact, it has grown very vigorously this year, more than it ever did before. It's now in its winter rest and you can see it's really dry. I'm um, busy, well, being mean to it, let's just say. But if this one doesn't flower for me in spring, then I'm definitely getting rid of it. Definitely. Next up, how many orchids do you have at the moment? And I had to do a check because, um, anyway. So putting aside hardy orchids that I grow in the ground outside, like Dactylorhiza and Epipactus and that kind of stuff, but including cold orchids in the greenhouse, like um, one count for each type of cleaning, then I currently have 128 orchids. Not a lot really. 
So what kind of grow space do you have? Windowsill, etc. I have them all. I have um, windowsills, I have a grow room, and I have a greenhouse. Now, for the windowsill and grow room orchids, I don't have any additional fixtures. I have no additional light, and um, I don't have any fans. And I've actually stopped using hum humidity tri trays this year. And for the greenhouse, well, I only use that in summer, except for a handful of cold orchids, like cymbidiums and that, which stay there over winter. So have I ever lost a particularly expensive or particularly loved orchid? And um, of course I have. I mean, we all have. It's in the nature of the game, isn't it? And just recently I made a video about three plants that broke my heart, which included the sad tale of Dendrobium anosmum, so you can go and check that out if you like. And another one I lost was um, one of the Oncidium Alliance ones, Hansueli Islar, which was actually my second orchid ever after the Baldwin's Kaleidoscope. And I lost it through inexperience really. I mean, one summer I decided to put it out in the greenhouse like I did with the Cattleyas. This is when I was a bit more experienced, you know, that, that there comes a danger point when you know a little bit but not enough. So I put it out in the greenhouse and it was just, it was too warm a summer and they don't like it too warm and it just went downhill after that. But I was lucky because a very, very kind girl, Anna, um, sent me uh, and uh, a Hans Welly Isla just recently, and I'm going to put a, a link to that video above. I'm really delighted to have that once again in my collection. So now we're on to the tenth and final question, if anyone is still watching at this stage. And this question is about what orchids are on my wish list. And yes, I do have a wish list. And I suppose number one on there is a Cattleya from, well, it's a plant from the Cattleya Alliance and it's called Francis Fox. Now, this is a gorgeous small orchid with orange petals and the most magnificent lip, gorgeous. I've been looking for this one for a long time. Uh, next on my list is, yes, I want a Catacetum piliatum. This is the one with the giant yellow flowers. Gorgeous, 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 have to have that. And I want some more Catacetums as well. Also, Epidendrum medusae, which they had for sale in Orchids and More this spring. And like a fool, I didn't buy it. I can't, I, I, like a fool, that's all I can say. I'm also looking for uh, Bulbophyllum phalaenopsis, the one with the really, really long leaves. Because, you know, if I can't even get this to flower, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have these fabulous leaves to look at. So I think that's, that's good. And um, I'm looking for a flowering sized Cattleya dowiana, either Aurea, the yellow variety, or Rosita, the pink one. But, you know, they're quite difficult, the dowiana. So maybe what I'll do is get a Cattleya hardiana, because some of the hardiana cultivars, there's about three or four in the, in the encyclopedia, in the RHS encyclopedia, and some of them have dowiana in their parentage. And they look fabulous, and I'm thinking they might be easier to mind than Dowiana. And um, yeah, uh, is, is that not enough? There's a couple of lesser things on the wish list. Want to try the bucket orchid, Corianthus. Also looking for Miltasia shell of Tolkien, if I can get it for a good price when it pops up. And um, Cymbidium tracheana, which is a really nice one. So there you go. So I've answered all of those 10 questions and I just want to say thank you to Bumblebee for uh, tagging me and do go and check out her channel, link going up above. Uh, she's a fellow European like myself and she started off just recently with lots of really cool orchid videos and I'm sure there's lots more to come. Also, you may have noticed on my front page in YouTube up on the left there is actually a list of new channels that I've well that I've newly discovered that I love so go and check that out if you're looking for well some more nice videos to 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 whet your appetite one of them is Alberto he's in Italy and um, his channel is called called Orcaholic putting the link to that up above wonderful wonderful collection I've also um, 
got on their TD Moore in America and oh my goodness, you just have to check out his collection. He has got Latoria dendrobiums coming out his ears. Wonderful, wonderful plants. And um, also, oh yes, not to do with orchids. I've also listed up there the UK Pelagonium and Geranium Society who have a YouTube channel now and put up the most informative videos. So if you're interested in growing pelagoniums at all, really do check this out. It's the best kept secret on, on YouTube, I think. <laughs> and finally, I want to make a shout out for two junior heroes of mine. I don't know what it's like in other countries, but in, here in Ireland, it's really difficult to get young, young people interested in plants or orchids or anything to do with growing. So I'm really impressed with um, two channels in particular, both in America, and um, Garrett Springs is the first one that comes to mind. Now, Garrett's only 15, but he grows a lovely load of plants and has such a pleasant manner that, that shines through in all his vi videos. And the second channel is uh, PYC Orchids, and Caleb is the owner of that particular channel. Caleb has a super collection of plants too, and I know he loves them because when he's presenting the information to us, you can't help but see the corner of his mouth curl up in just uh, love of his plants, let's say. So these guys really are my junior heroes, and you really should go and check it out. And finally, 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 I'm at the end of the video, and I think this has got to be the longest video I've ever made, so please excuse me. But um, yeah, I'm gonna tag some people there, gotcha. All right, so I'm gonna tag some people that uh, Bumblebee hasn't already tagged, and the first one is Alberto from Orchidaholics. So Alberto, you're up. Also, T.D. Moore, because I'd love to get to see his answer to these questions. And the final tag is for Isis Orchids. Now, Isis, is a, um, Isis has a fantastic collection. She grows a whole variety of Cattleyas, loads of species Cattleyas. And I really would love to see what she has to say with this. So guys, if you're listening, then um, please consider making one of these videos. And if you don't want to, sure, that's fine. It's only a bit of fun anyway. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching and bye.